uplifting, funny. Generosity of spirit. It's just a beautiful, joyous love story. I think anybody who is in a relationship or who has somebody in their life that they love will relate to a lot of what happens in this show. It's about a mother and daughter's love, um, love for humanity, the, her daughter's love for her husband. Love is quite transcending and being able to do that and set it in the 60s means that it makes it exciting again. On the surface, it, it seems quite light because it is in places, but you scratch that surface and that's when everyone's story really comes out. Lots of different types of love scattered throughout the show. You know, you go in, it's a farce, you're having a laugh and then, oh my God, then you become emotionally involved and then by the time you're delivered out the other end, hope. Yeah. And if something's worth saying, it's worth saying with a smile. You know, for me, it was one of my all-time favourite films. <laughs> if you told my, you know, like 12-year-old self, that one day I would get to play the mum. As soon as I got over the disappointment of not having the Jane Fonda part, I'd have been <laughs> delighted. <laughs> I love Ethel. She's a mum. She's alone, probably living alone for the first time in her life, so empty nest syndrome. Ethel is quietly dignified about her new position in life, but it is painful. I play Corey. She's very sort of free-spirited and spontaneous is so in love with Paul, who she's just married. I play Paul, Paul Bratter. He's a, a, a young, aspiring lawyer who's kind of the more straight, dry sense of humour type. I'm playing Victor Velasco, the eccentric neighbour upstairs. An old-fashioned gentleman. Thank you very much. Who likes the ladies. With everything that's been happening in the world at the moment, it's nice to go and see something that is just Fun. Like the best episode of one of the best sitcoms ever. I think they'll come out feeling all hopeful and I think we all need that at the moment.